Dana Logsdon is a roofer, been doing it since he was 12. Roofing and waterproofing. Likes talking shop. Underwood shingles is usually what's called skip sheeting. That means you have a one by four every eight inches, so you have a four inch gap every eight inches, or one by six every 12 inches, so you'd have that six inch gap. But one roofing job has left a big gap in his bottom line. So far, um, I spent about $45,000 in fines, attorney's fees. So what happened? This hotel roof job in Del Mar looked pretty routine. Rip off the old wood shingles, put on concrete tiles, like he had done on other job sites. But he found an unusual rosin paper under the shingles on one group of buildings. Thought it was strange for this roof type, but started tearing it off anyway. Turns out that paper had asbestos in it. They came out and said, hey, we think this is asbestos based. And we said, no, I don't, I don't think so. We've never seen anything like this, as well as this building was built after a time that, we, that they could use asbestos in building. Most of the time, I think those result from people not doing the survey to begin with. They don't know what they're dealing with, and so by mistake, they get into it and start dis disturbing the materials. That's where we see the biggest violations and the biggest health concerns. The law does require that a survey be done prior to disturbing asbestos. In particular, if you've got older materials, again, prior to the 1980s, you've got insulation or you've got uh, that popcorn ceiling or some of those types of materials, the law actually presumes that some of those contain asbestos. And the burden is on the contractor to disprove the presence of asbestos. As a professional, they expect us to, to be held to a higher standard. And that standard is doing it right. Go South, a large old apartment building near Balboa Park. The owner wants to do some major structural work on it, but the owner did a survey. Turns out a crawl space between the ceiling and roof is loaded with asbestos. It's going to come out. An asbestos contractor is called. And depending on what they find out, it may require that it be taken out uh, according to the procedures that we require. And in that case, it would provide us with a written notification so we come out and respond to that. And that's where Jared Ogden comes in. He's an inspector with the county's air pollution control district. So I've got a good seal on the mask and I'm ready to do my inspection. And what he'll be inspecting is the removal process. Is the contractor doing it right? Remember, asbestos containing material that's been disturbed can be a hazardous waste. Often the work area must be sealed off. Vacuums to suck out the air and filter it must be working and you must dispose of it properly. They've got all their asbestos containing materials wrapped inside a double layered plastic. And they're looking for a couple things. One, to make sure that they have the appropriate warning labels here, which they do. This is great. I'm also looking to see that they're keeping the material wet. And if you look in, you can see that there's moisture in the bags. That's a good sign. That means that they're wetting the material as they're removing it. This is great. They got it taped off really well. There's no punctures in this. And I just want to make sure that there's no loose debris or asbestos fibers that could be coming out of the workspace into the public here. And they've got a good seal going to their filter. Oh, this has been like this two months. Yeah, real attractive for a hotel to, to have this. And back at the hotel, roofer Dana Logsdon waits. Waits for the asbestos removal company to get rid of it. Waits to do the roof work. Waits to get paid. Waits to see how much this whole thing is going to cost him. Make you a better roofer? Um, I think it, I wouldn't say a better roofer. I mean, unfortunately, I'm very confident. And fortunately, in that area, I feel that, you know, I'm extremely good at what I do. It makes me a more aware roofer. More aware through asbestos training courses for him and some of his staff, so he'll know how to do it right the first time and never have to go through this again. We know asbestos is dangerous and we don't want it around. That's a given. But there's a group of people out there who sometimes have no choice but to be around it. Construction workers. Just like contractors, construction workers need to follow the rules and also know their rights.